at 5.30 tonight, just days after a missile alert was accidentally sent to people in Hawaii, Japan's national broadcasting system mistakenly sent a text message alert today saying that North Korea had launched a ballistic missile aimed at the nation. Now, the alert from the NHK News had advised Japanese residents to immediately evacuate and seek shelter. It was retracted minutes later. In Hawaii, it took 38 minutes before a second message confirming the false alarm was issued. Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio joins us in studio. The Japan incident three days after Hawaii emergency management officials say an employee clicked the wrong button twice, scaring people that a nuclear weapon was headed their way. Last week, General, you said it could be one of two possibilities. Something could be intentional or an accident. We're seeing both cases an accident. Exactly right. And the probability for an accident triggering nuclear exchange is more uh, of concern, I think, and we should all be more concerned about that. And there needs to be some obviously a look at the system to make sure that one button doesn't go ahead and unleash that kind of information. All right, critics say the national warning system needs some kind of reform. What reforms need to be put into place? Mike, there? as we speak, there's a meeting taking place in Canada right now between the United States, Canada, South Korea, and Japan looking at that very question. The reform has to be uh, somewhat of a, a centralization. Right now, every community, every EMA has the ability to be able to launch one of these alerts without kind of some kind of uh, significant vetting as to whether in fact there is an attack taking place or not. There has to be a system put in place to verify and make sure that when you put this information out, it is factual. You know, years ago, obviously you could hear the warning bells, which the warning sounds that still happen, but now it's wireless because it went to their cell phones. Po poses another problem. Absolutely, you know, again with social media, uh, you know, I recognize that social media isn't the mainstream media. Nevertheless, uh, a great many people look at social media as being being factual. So you can in fact put information on the on social media saying we're under attack and not the case at all. That's a concern. There has to be some better system in place to preclude people from doing that uh, intentionally to cause an accident to happen. All right, General, as always, thank you for your thoughts. Thank you.